Alright guys, I am here to finally unbox the long-awaited Mac Mini. <laughs> So, I'll go over the specs once I open it up. And this thing back here is a server I got from Radio Shack. I'll make a video about that later because it's totally off topic. So on the back here you see all the ports that this thing has. And I'll show those once I open it up. With these huge KitchenAid scissors. Let's see if I can do this here. I might not even need the scissors. Hold on a second. Still waiting on the tripod mount for my iPod. I ordered two of them. They were 80 cents, which is why I ordered two of them, because they're probably easy to break. Can't wait till they get here. Alright, come on now. There we go. Alright. Mac Mini. This is one of the higher end ones. I didn't buy one of the, I didn't buy the crappy five hundred dollar one. I bought one this one cost me twelve hundred. Alright. And there's all the plastic off of it. And my old MacBook up there, the broken one, has been converted to a Mountain Dew stand, so it's pretty awesome. So this is not the same way you open a MacBook box. Oh yeah, it slides out like a drawer. I think, doesn't it? Yep. Alright. Get that focus right. Oh, yes. It's really difficult to do with one hand. <laughs> Holy crap. Come on. There we go. So there's the sleeve, and here's the Mac Mini. Let's go ahead and lift that out. Not lift the whole box up with it. Come on. Alright. There it is. Unwrap it. Alright. There is the Mac Mini, guys. Look at that, it's so little. Alright, so on the bottom here you've got the new design. Can't pull the bottom off of it anymore. Um, without a flat screwdriver or something, I don't know. I have seen people open it though. Alright, anyway on the back we've got a crap load of ports. Let's see here, the power button, uh, AC power, wait, yeah that's AC, uh, gigabit ethernet, the vent for the fan, HDMI, two Thunderbolt 2.0 ports, four USB 3.0 ports, SDXC, audio in, and of course your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Let's see what else we got in the box here. We've got the power cord, which is not grounded, which might not be a good thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll open that up later. This is probably just your user's manual. Alright, I guess I have to open this to get to the famous Apple stickers, which is always nice to find. And I'm going to have to set the camera down for a second. There we go. Hello. Alright, no one cares about this. Where are the Apple stickers? There they are. Look at that. I'll put those somewhere. Alright. Now I'll put this back in here and wrap it back up and put it back in the box. Alright, so I did that. And now I also took the little plastic thing off of this power cable. Which actually looks to be the exact same power cable that they use for the Apple TV except white. Apple TV is black. The cord even is black on the Apple TV. So here's my beautiful Mac Mini, and I already smudged up the Apple logo. Oh well, I'll clean that off later. Now, my desk is still a little bit of a mess, but I rearranged it. As you can see, just a quick glimpse before I do a room tour video, black books over there. And yeah, I'm not going to show you any more of that until... Yeah, you might notice that that Inspiron is gone. I moved it somewhere else. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up. Alright, there it is, and holy crap, I have so much stuff plugged into this thing. Alright, turn the screens on, that one's already on. All three of my screens. It's time for this thing's first boot up ever. Three, two, one. Oh man, 
that sound. I love it. Looks like that's the only screen getting anything. Even though all three of them are plugged in. Center screen's using an HDMI to DVI cord. Alright, look at that. And this hard drive's in the way. I have to find a better place for it. But you'll notice here, while that's initiating here, you'll notice this thing, this hub. Only one port's being used now. That's because I have the ability to have... F I have four ports on the back of this, so I just plugged all the hard drives straight into the Mac. Because, you know, it'll be, f it'll be better that way. Um, looks like you got the status indicator on here. The LED and the IR receiver, which is compatible with these remotes, by the way. Even that black MacBook is. So while that's doing that, I might as well go over the specs here. So I ordered this thing with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a dual core Intel Core i7 clocked at 3.0 gigahertz, and then what's the hard drive? Uh, I don't. I it's a. S Let me remember. All right, it's a SATA hard drive, a terabyte at 5400 RPM, which is kind of slow, but oh well. And yeah. And that fan in the back there, hopefully that does a good job of keeping it cool. And I'll be back when this is done. Look at that. Two of these screens and that screen ain't doing crap. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't think anything's wrong with it, actually. Oops, I forgot. Uh-oh. How am I going to move the... Oh, I have a mouse. All right. All righty. Much different than my other one when it had Mavericks. Um... So I'm going to go set this up real quick, and then I'll be back. Alright, and it's setting up. Still don't know why this screen isn't doing anything. I'll figure it out. And this hard drive, I really need to move that hard drive out of the way. And where's the dock? And why is the screen doing nothing? The crap? Oh crap, what did I do here? It's got power. The VGA is in. This is the adapter for it. Okay. You gotta push real hard on that to get it to go in. Come on now. There we go. Whoa. I photo spam. Holy crap. Um. I have to get my trackpad hooked up to this because I like using trackpads. Alright, where is my Bluetooth here? Crap, seriously? Alright, hold on. I gotta get this configured because this is not how I like it. Found the problem. It appears this thing can only drive two screens, which is like, come on, really? Come on now. Even my older other one, which was less powerful, could drive three. Like, watch what, see, I unplug this screen, and then that screen shows crap up. Like, come on now, really? So if anyone knows how to fix this problem, I would really like to know because I would really like to have more than two screens because this is kind of like, no, come on. Like, no, come on. It has, it, has to be able to, it has to be able to power that many screens. There's no way it, I don't know. That's kind of weird though. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That sucks, man. I hope that's not how it is. If it is, I'll move this one over to where that one is, and then do something with that one that I've been planning. You know what? I think I'm actually going to do that right now. I feel like I should. That's weird, though. Why is it only able to power two of them? Oh, here, I better make sure that my specs are to scale. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at those specs. 3 gigahertz Core i7, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, that's SD, or LP DDR3. And yeah, all the specs stack up to what they should be. And yeah, so is that. Good, good, good. Alright, I have to... Oops, not change desktop background, don't know why I clicked that. Um... How did I do this? Okay, it's in Finder Preferences, and then show all of that. So I can, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
This weekend I'm going to go to the place called Denver Mac Repair and get the data from my other MacBook transferred so I can get all my Minecraft worlds back. And yeah, that'll be cool. I gotta uh, show view options and then snap to grid because that is how I like it to do. And I also have to pick up a new USB 3.0 cord because the one on my black Western Digital Drive decided to die for no reason at all. I actually have no idea why that stopped working. Anyway, guess that's it for the video, guys. I am able to use Final Cut again, which is awesome. And I have to... Oh, hold on. I have to, um... Yeah, I have to get that, my other desktop background that I was using on that black MacBook. Um, I think it was in YouTube stuff, I don't know, let's see. Whoa, I need to increase the scroll speed too. Uh, let's see here. Is it in here? Nope, I don't know where it is. Oh, I'll transfer it. Anyway, guys, I guess that is it for the video, so thank you for watching. It's actually going to be a couple more things in this video. Whoa, these fans are slow. Holy crap. Or, the fan is slow. The one in that laptop and the one in my other laptop, they both went up to 6200. This one maxes at 4800. Let's hear how it sounds here. Alright, increase that speed all the way to the top. Sounds like a laptop fan to me. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet. Still gotta figure out how to make it drive all three of my screens, which is kind of like really sad that it won't. But we'll get it figured out. Alright guys, I moved my some stuff around on my desk. As you can see, one of my monitors is gone. The Mac Mini is now right there next to my 3 terabyte my book. I moved everything back. Wait a minute, where'd the brick go? The crap. Oh, it fell. Oops. The brick for my MacBook, my black MacBook, fell off the desk. Alright, that thing right there. I'll get it back later. Anyway, I tried to install Linux on this machine. It didn't work too well. Anyway, there's the other monitor. And I got this monitor with the server, so these are going to be backup monitors. It's always good to have backup monitors in case a mouse ends up going through one of those, which it actually might. Um, but yeah, so guys, I guess that is it for the video. Here is my Mac Mini, and uh, I'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate the Apple TV remote working with it. See, see, it's controlling this one too. It's kind of funny. See. Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. There's my desk now. Got to clean it up. I got to do some more cleanup work to it. Other than that, it looks good, so thank you for watching.